Yo, 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 yo. I guess y'all thought we ain't never gonna see him in the whip again. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's been a it's been a hot second, but it's been a good second. You know, y'all been seeing our faces pop up. You always gonna see that, nevertheless. You know, yeah, I'm extra. I'm one extra button down, but don't don't even worry about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, before we start anything off. We got to give a shout out to pay our respects to one of uh, our homies, actually one of our homegirls, Brittany Wilson. Um, let me say one thing about Brittany and I'm going to leave it alone. For those that know Britney and who knew Britney knows, you know, first of all, Britney was a, a big fan of this show. Britney was actually supposed to make some debuts on this show. We never got around to it because, you know, um, other things that came up or what or whatnot. But Britney by far was one of hip hop's biggest fans you know probably you know the biggest fan of hip-hop on the female perspective in the world i i never met a female that was more enthused in hip-hop than britney you know like i said i made a post a couple of days ago i said britney was was more hip-hop than a lot of dudes i knew you know um it's very, very, very sad loss. Gonna miss Brit, but Brit will never be forgotten when it comes to hip hop. And you know, we'll always represent Britney. You know, through our reviews, through these beats and rhymes and these bars. You know, and if you knew Britney, show Britney's family some love. Show Sophie, a daughter some love every time you see it because they all gonna need it you know all the friends and everybody connected to britney they need love as well but we we definitely gonna miss brit and this is just gonna be you know a moment of silence for brit a well-deserved moment of silence Right now let's get to it yeah yeah back with it the reviewers of the reviewers you know what i'm saying my name's anti freeze today i got my cool shit on today <laughs> <laughs> straight up you know what i'm saying yeah yeah man but like always i got a surprise man uh-oh shout out to whip love music our boy Charles came through. Ah, again. Cousin Charles. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Straight up. Yeah, you can see I ain't even opened the box yet. <laughs> UPS you know? ground man. Yeah, I told I told Charles we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it the same way we done it last time. Absolutely. We're gonna open it on the show. Absolutely. As you can see by the details. A bro ripping this box. He's a professional. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell y'all why he's a professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just know it's 24 years in. Yeah, why? Yeah. He, why he's a professional? You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Both both sides of. Yeah, My man. Okay. Uh -oh. All right. Uh -oh. We got some caps. Yeah, that's the, you. Hey, you, All right. you, you already know what it is, cuz. I ain't even wear one today, but yeah, that's what it is. All right. So we got the um, we got the navy blue, and we got the black joint. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So what you think, bro? It's whatever, bro. Take a pick. You know, I can I, I can go with any any color. 
I'm gonna take, take the navy. I'm gonna take the navy. I already got a little navy blue joint on right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take another one. Yeah. Shit, I got plenty of black ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got the snap on it too, yeah, cuz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what this is official. It. Yeah, he got the snap. This is on. official. Yeah, man. Look, look, hold up. I gotta plug this real quick, cuz hold up. Look at the label. Look at the label. But look what's on there. It's the barcode. Y'all, yeah. y'all making these shirts and, and, and hats, you know what I'm saying? Uh crew necks and all of that. Y'all ain't got no barcode, you ain't official. As you can see, Cuzzo's official with the barcode and it says with yeah. love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Straight man. up. This is this is extra love right here, Cuzzo. Yeah. We really appreciate I it. I didn't know what to expect when I opened the package yeah. up. Yeah. Straight dope. Man. Yeah. Yeah. You got the heart on the back. Yeah. Yeah, this is official right here. Embroidery. Straight up. Another, yeah. another thing, you know. Got the got the snapback stick on there to show. Yeah, this is official right here. Yeah, see we that? appreciate see the that? love, cuz of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, I probably have to flex the brim a little yeah, bit. Yeah, there we go. We in there like swimwear. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might I might take this to the islands with me or cuz of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Up. Yeah, boy. Official. We appreciate the love, cuz. Yeah, uh, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, Childs, man. Y'all make sure y'all stream, beam, and, and lean on his music yeah. as much as you can. Because that's Cuzzo, man. Family of the show. Straight up. Yeah, man. But, um, you know, before we get started, man, let me, let me, well, we gonna get started. But let me, let me say this, man. Cause a lot of people been in a been in a feelings lately. <laughs> you know. Um shout out to Big Daddy Kane, man, because I seen a I seen an interview where Big Daddy Kane said the fans had turned them off from this particular battle. Yeah. You know, talking about the Drake and Kendrick battle because the battle itself was no longer about who's got the best bars, who got the best track. It became fact checking and all this. You know, who's this is the truth and that's, you know, that's why he said that the fans had really turned them off from this battle and he's right. Because a lot of y'all, because if somebody don't agree with you saying, you want to get all butt hurt and uptight, yeah. man. That's not what hip hop's about. Just because um, somebody don't agree with your opinion, you know, y'all want to take it personal. Yep. You know, y'all don't y'all don't know these artists from a can of paint. Y'all don't know Kendrick. Y'all don't know Drake personally. Yep. So it ain't no reason to get mad and upset and and, and, and have uh, stomach cramps and, and heart attacks. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's true. And I want to say this too, because bro said it on our live we done that this battle reminded him of uh, Nas versus Jay-Z. I'm going to say this, this battle right here is definitely, for me, Ja Rule versus 50. <laughs> okay. The reason being is because at a certain point in this battle, y'all did to Drake what y'all did to Ja Rule. Y'all was on Ja Rule for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. Then when 50 came out, and put out Wangster, all of a sudden y'all turned into Big 50 fans when y'all was rolling ja, ja Rule's balls mm. for years and years and years. I remember that. Mm -hmm. You know, me personally, I wasn't really a Ja Rule fan. 50, uh, I remember 50 from the ha How to Rob and when he started coming up, you know, you mm -hmm. know, I fuck with Fifth, but um, it wasn't until I, we went to Atlanta 
I heard that Betty Betty Vici album. He bro remember this. Absolutely. And that's when I was like, damn, you know, you know, I kinda like Ja Ru. I heard the, that that album and I think uh you, you played the Murderers album. Yeah. Yep. That was my first time hearing it. This was probably like 03. Mm -hmm. You know, but this is definitely uh uh 50 versus Ja Ru, this battle right here, because everything that Drake said. Y'all didn't say nothing about. Y'all talking about, you know, this pedophile. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe not. I ain't, like I said, I ain't really heard nothing before then. And the stuff that I'm hearing about it, about the 17-year-old, he was 23. But, you know, I heard about the whole story. The, the crew picked it out from the concert. Well, whatever, whatever, how it happened. To me, it wasn't no big deal. But at the end of the day, it's... It's about equal. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all can talk about this, but y'all can't talk about top might be this this dude's baby uh, uh, kid's dad, and uh, this is this is the reason why he left the label. Ain't nobody said nothing about that, but mm -hmm. y'all just over on Drake, uh, the, the you know the Drake side. But you know it goes to show you what I was saying in the last live about fans being bias man mm -hmm. and and to me it showed definitely a hundred percent in this battle man yeah and i'm seeing it a lot you know because in the beginning people were saying uh it was the drake fans but now i'm seeing it's the people on kendrick and y'all wasn't on kendrick last year when he dropped mr morale and the big steppers yeah y'all wasn't on fucking kendrick man wasn't on them before that, and you know? and that shows how much of dick riders y'all y'all really are, man. And it's pathetic. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, I have to agree. It did take the fun out of it. Yeah, so like, that's like, all I gotta say. <laughs> like I like I said, I, I said it once before. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say it again. Half of you fans can't even really call yourself a fan. Because you never seen them in concert. That's what I'm still on. Like, yeah, I don't understand how you could be a super fan and you never seen never, one day seen this man in concert or that man in concert. You know, part, part of a big part of hip hop and the way hip hop got introduced to the world is through performance. You gotta perform. So, I don't know how that aspect you know, just became non-existent, you know, I, you know, me personally, I, I heard both sides of it, and, you know, anybody that knows me knows, I'll listen, I'll listen to what you got to say, I'll listen to your opinion, but just know, I'm gonna have my opinion right behind you, you know what I'm saying, and, and my thing is this, when it came to this battle, the biggest thing that made me aware of what everybody got to say and why everybody not no pun intended but I'm speaking to everybody my thing is this when I'm listening to what you got to say my mind's going to a place to try to figure out did you ever see this artist in concert I know I seen him in concert I'm not going to sit up here in front right. I ain't, I, you know I'm not the biggest Drake fan no I've never seen that man in concert for a reason, you know. Well, you gotta remember. I bring this to your attention. You remember 202010? Because I forgot about this. You remember we was in the Velvet Room in ATL. Who performed at that club that night? No, I don't even remember, bro. Our, our last trip where the crew went to Atlanta. It was me, you, CC, Big Mike, his cousins. Fab and Drake. Uh, <laughs> Drake performed at that club that night. See, I forgot it, uh, and I still got a little footage of that too. Okay. So I might be putting that out too. We did. We okay. we seen Drake in the club performing that night. I, this is before. This is when he came out with his uh, with his first hit. The um uh uh uh, uh, uh was was it called? I want this forever. That, yeah, that record. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. when he, yep. 
Nah, I forgot all about Yeah, that. I know. That's uh, what that's uh, that's why I had to yeah. But you know what? Uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and, and, and I'm glad you said that because mm -hmm. I, I needed to say I'm not gonna stay on the subject too long, but a lot of people, you know, opinions when it comes to that, appearances is what they call it. Appearances don't count as, you know, performances. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. He performed like it was a concert. Yeah. It yeah. was Appear something. Yeah. yeah. Appearances, you know, now if they ad lib in the song, okay. But if they if they doing bars within the song, what's the difference between that and, and a concert? It's, I mean, it's the same thing. If they walk in to the left of the stage, if they walk into the right of the stage, if, you know what I'm saying? If they gesturing out. You know what I'm saying? Doing that's that's a that's a performance. So we seen I, yeah. we seen Rick Ross too and Shotty Low in the club too. Yeah, I, I forgot all about. Yeah, that. I know, I, I know, I bro. That's why that's that. why I'm here because I because yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was there with you. Yeah, so I, forgot I know all about. But you know, it goes back to you know you can you can have your opinion. You can say what you want to say, but at the end of the day, you know. Did you ever see these artists in concert? And half of you Kendrick fans never seen that man in concert. No. Nope. To be making your opinions and to be having your details the way that you be having them. Nope. You know, you, you're not a fan. You know, uh, I'm not going to spread out the details of like I did before on, on our live. But, you know, he's, he's done over 100 shows. And, I mean, listen... Let's get off the, the show detail. Let's get off the performing detail. A lot of you fans. A lot of you fans never been on a plane before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot, oh, a lot yeah. of you fans. It's, it's 2024 and you just buying your first plane ticket. I know some grown ass men ain't never been on a plane, bro. Never. You never been on a plane before? You you mean you know, you mean to tell me y'all, you know, you dudes wear a lot of Dodger uh apparel, jerseys, you know what I'm saying, snapbacks and all of that, and you never been to LA. You wear a lot of Nipsey apparel, Nipsey this, Nipsey, you, you, you never been to L.A. Not one bit. Never been to, you know, the Marathon store, you know, all of this. You're, you're Nipsey fans, you, but you don't you don't own a pair of Pumas, Marathon Pumas. Never been to Miami. <laughs> you, you mean to tell, you mean to tell me, you, you dudes... A single, unmarried, no kids, no girlfriend, never walked down Ocean Drive before. That's that's bugged out. You know, um, never been to New York before. You 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 this hip hop biggest fan, but you you never been to New York, never walked. A, a, a day in your life on the streets of Manhattan, but you hip hop's biggest fan before, you know. We got all this stuff to say about Sean Combs or whatever. Never, never walk past the bad boy office, you know. Um, you Pac's biggest fan, <laughs> but always forget Pac's, Pac was born in the Bronx. Boy, he, he he was born in New York, but he repped the West Coast. But you never walked past the palm tree on the West Coast. <laughs> never seen Suge's house. Never walked on Dre Street. Never been to Long Beach before. To see what, you know, the LBC looked like. Anna, Anaheim. North, North. Never been to the West Coast before. How? Never even uh, been to Vegas before to see what Tupac was, was shot at. How? How are you hip-hop's biggest fan by these details? It's, it's impossible to be having the opinions that y'all have. You know, and, and this ain't this this ain't me, you know, uh, like I said, this ain't no point pun intended or 
this is just what it is. Like, you know, this is what's going through my head when, when you're talking to me, when you're giving your opinion. I'm, I'm really, you know, when you see the, you know, the gray skies on, these are the gray skies right here. And by, these are one-on-ones. You're not going to find them. These were made, so you can cut it out. Yeah, you're not going to do it. But anyway, you, you see the size of them? Yeah. All right. But, um, you know, while you giving your opinion, while you talking to me, this is what I'm thinking in my head. These things that I just mentioned, I mean, this guy never been on a plane before. Why is he Why is he talking about Drake like this? I mean, this guy's never been to L.A. He's never even seen Mr. Morale perform live. He's yeah. never, never seen Good Kid, Mad City perform live. You know, we are broadcasting live from Louisville, Kentucky. I should have brought the stuff with me. I'm going to send it to bro so he can put it on here so I can show proof. I, I forget the year it was. I want to say it might have been 2014, 2015. Kendrick came to Louisville, Kentucky with Schoolboy Q. I probably know one person that gave his opinion about this battle that was at that concert. I, I, yeah, I missed that one. I don't know what I was probably, probably working. Yeah, that night. yeah, it, it, it was it was during the week. I want to say the concert mm -hmm. was on a Wednesday, I believe. Yeah, but you know, I was in attendance at that concert. I went dolo, as a matter of fact. Like Bro said, he probably was, had to work. Um, but I don't remember none of y'all that gave an opinion except one person that was at that concert. And and happy you dudes don't have no other reason that you can express that you wasn't there you don't have no kids you're not married wasn't sick you wasn't in the hospital wasn't in the wheelchair i mean you this biggest fan what's 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 the reason and i mean because they wasn't because they wasn't his biggest fan back in 2015 yeah they they did they his biggest fan last week you straight up <laughs> so you know this, this is, you know, the review, the title of this review is, if you're a fan, you got to have backup to be a fan. You got to show proof that you're a fan. You know, everything about bro and me, we can show proof. We can detail, you know, everything. Like bro said, I, I forgot all about Drake performing in the Velvet mm -hmm. Room. We, yeah, we you know, was there. We was there. We got footage. You yeah, know, I was I was asking shorties in the parking lot who they who, who was they here to see Fab or Drake. <laughs> I got that footage too, suckers. So y'all y'all stay tuned for that. We 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 can back that detail up. <laughs> you know, straight up. But it like like I said, it, and bro said it too. I will I will admit to the fact that, you know, yeah, this uh this battle really the fun got taken out of this battle because it, it was way too many aspects being shared, you know, from the fan side of it to, you know, um the, the podcast to the reviewers, you know, it was it was just way too much details like, all right, man, like some of the stuff didn't even need to be shared. I I, I seen something earlier today that said something about um uh drake sending his baby moms and his son back to france or, or something like that like and, and showed them getting in you know uh the tsa line like oh really yeah that 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 was corny <laughs> you know like nah it's, it's some things that don't need to be detailed or, or shared you know, right straight up you know um yeah, it's, it's just it, it just got to be too much, man, and it it, it, it took the fun out of it. I, I I will say that, but you know, if you're gonna be a fan, have have backup to show that you're a fan. You know, the biggest the biggest backup that you can have being a fan, <clears throat> I'm gonna put that on here too. I'm gonna show a little uh, proof of it. You know, that's just that's just half of it. it. Ain't all of it. It's just half of it. I still. I got stubs from 1994 
I got stubs from, from 98. I mean, you know, just because. I mean, you know, it, it, it's not to show off anything. It's just to show detail. I got, you know, autographs, uh, T-shirts, red and meth or whatever, you know. And it's not, that's not to show off. Some, some people never seen it. I, I don't even think I showed bro that t-shirt that I got from, from Red and Meth. So, I mean, it's just the, um, that memorabilia, you know, of, of you being a fan. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm probably one of the biggest fans of the New York Mets. I got major New York Mets snaps. Probably, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's probably the only one person that got more than me is Nas. You know, because he probably get them for free. I got to buy my joints, but, you know, but regardless if they win or lose, guess what? I'm still a fan. I, I could show it. I could put it on when I go to work, when I go to the, you know, the market, um, you know, wherever I'm at, I could show detail, hey, I'm I'm a fan. This is where I'm from. You know, this is what I represent. I'm, I'm a fan. So when I'm talking to somebody, you know what I'm saying, about, you know, one of the players on the team when they see me out in the market or whatever I can show while I'm talking I'm, I'm not just talking I'm a fan you can see it on me you know you can see the jersey or whatever you, you know show that you a fan don't just be up here acting like it you know what I'm saying just because you think it's cool or whatever but I, I'm gonna tell you something a lot, a lot of you dudes um talking like that and making these opinions Y'all be the most ones talking about uh, transvestites and, and, uh, and, and, yeah. and, and, and <laughs> you know, dudes swinging, uh, you know, for the other team. Let me tell you something. With this battle, a lot of you dudes seem like y'all was swinging for the other team more than the other dudes that was, you know, swinging for the other team. A lot of, a lot of you dudes was in your feelings and emotions. <laughs> I don't know why you like Frank like that. A lot of you dudes <laughs> raising your mom like, yo, what? I'm like, hey, yo, man. man. Like, it ain't that serious, <laughs> man. Like, a lot of you dudes, you know, was was, was getting angry and stuff. I, some of you dudes was, was mad at me. Like, a lot of you dudes wasn't, you know, speaking to me or whatever. I was I was coming to the jail. A lot of dudes see me. Like, psh, psh. You was, ah. yeah, he was doing the Jamie Foxx. Like, the Jamie Foxx said about... J Lo, how she hit him with the beatbox, like, psh, psh. yeah. <laughs> a lot of you dudes was doing the Dougie Fresh. Oh, she was doing man. the beatbox, like. Let me. I, I don't ever recall getting like that with 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 Nas and Jay Z. I'm I'm from Queens, New York. You know, I had Nas from the jump, and I don't never re getting like that. You know, I didn't get like that when Jay Z took a shot at P. I'm one of P's biggest fans. Yeah. I didn't. I wasn't doing. I wasn't hitting people with the beatbox, like. A lot of you dudes is in your feels extra. Still, a lot of you dudes is still in your feels. Like they take it more personal than the actual artists do. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I, I, let me, I, like I said, let me tell you something. I, I didn't see, I didn't see females on some of these sites like some of you dudes was. Man, a lot of you dudes really, you know, was pulling up your skirt on, you know, this battle. A lot of you dudes, man, and it's. Really a shame, you know, that you made yourself look like that, man, in front of the world, you know. So, it, I mean, hip hop supposed to be uh, a fun thing. Hip hop is a sport, but you know, the way that y'all got into this, you know, this aspect of it, man, it, it was just too much. It made me not even wanna. I didn't want to listen to no Kendrick songs or Drake songs because. Yeah. You know, it was like, who else Who else put out something? You know, but even some artists was, you know, I, I seen some artists uh, at their shows, you know, doing the Kendrick bars like us and, you know, dancing oh, to like us. And it was man. just like, oh, it was like, all right, man, it's this it, enough with it, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it was just too much, but it shows you how fast something becomes a fad. It really does. But a lot of you dudes made yourselves look really bad. You don't have no right talking about, you know, how men swing for the other team or, you know, want to wear uh, female clothes. Or you, you don't have no right saying nothing about 
anybody because the shoe was definitely on the other foot <laughs> and the skirts was definitely on some of you dudes, you know what I'm saying, that always talk about the skirts being on somebody else. I seen it. I seen a lot of you pulling up your skirts. And once again, while you was making your opinion in front of the gray skies, that's what was in my mind. Like, this dude is playing himself right now, man. Like, you know, you're going to the high pitch voice and I don't know why you listen to Drake and Kendrick. I'm like, yo, man, like, calm down. It's not that serious, yo. <laughs> it's not that. Then, then you was taking that opinion off to other opinions. You know, you was making opinions about the Jay and Oz battle or whatever. It's like, all right, man. Like, I shout out to Big Bro Priest. You know what I'm saying? We'll just say KM. I ain't going to put your, your government out on here, bro. Yeah. But I spoke to Bro the other day. And I, I told him, I said, my my new my new thing is is telling somebody you got it. Bro, oh, yeah. bro said he, bro said it even better than me. He said I'm gonna get a shirt made. He said because I've been saying I right, man. He said I'm gonna get a shirt made with with I right, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that straight up, and, and and that's the truth. Sometimes you just gotta say I right, man, and leave it at that, man. You 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 got it. You, you got it straight up. The floor, the floor is yours. You want the floor so bad, homeboy? Be my guest and take it. But once again, half of the ones we saying you got it, and I right, man, never been on a plane before. They got other stuff to worry about. You got bigger fish to fry. Like, I don't know. It's, it's a lot of other stuff y'all can be doing Besides sitting behind a computer, computer thugging, writing on other people's statuses, you know, blogging about their opinion about somebody. Like, y'all got, if, if you can sit there and word this, you can sit there and do this and buy you a plane ticket, B. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can find you another destination or whatever to, to go to and visit. So you can get you some culture about you, you know, so somebody in one of these places and destinations can tell you, stop wasting your time uh, replying to opinions. Go out here and, and see a palm tree for a chance. Go out here and see something that looks like something. You won't have time to be up here trying to get at everybody. You won't have time for that. Cut it out. Pull your skirt down. Put on some beach shorts. <laughs> Put on a beach shirt, perhaps. <laughs> Buy you a chain. Get get a haircut. Shave your face. It's a lot of other things you dudes can be doing. <laughs> Straight up. Uh -huh. On the rip. But nevertheless, you always rocking with the fresh. It's the cruise review. I'm fly for QNY. And TP, man. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and uh, yeah. shout out, shout out to my favorite rapper on TDE, Schoolboy Q. Because when I asked a person that made the comment who <laughs> your favorite rapper was, you couldn't tell me, bro. <laughs> you didn't want to say nothing. So I'm telling you who my favorite rapper is. It's Schoolboy Q out of TDE. Uh. Then Abso is second. Then maybe Kendrick third. Mm. So that's where I'm coming from with it. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up and down. <laughs> Easy. Easy.